Hit the high points, mastering English phrases. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're going to explore an interesting phrase that you might come across in everyday conversations, books, or movies. Hit the high points. Understanding phrases like this can really elevate your English fluency. So, let's get started and hit the high points of this phrase together. The phrase, hit the high points, refers to discussing, mentioning, or focusing on the most important, significant, or interesting parts of a topic, and not going into every detail. It's like taking a walk through a beautiful garden and stopping to admire the most stunning flowers without examining every single one. This phrase is commonly used in both professional settings, such as meetings or presentations, and casual conversations. While the exact origin of the phrase is a bit murky, it's believed to have evolved from the idea of reaching the highest or most notable points in a physical journey. Over time, it transitioned into a metaphorical phrase used in speech and writing. In usage, you might hear it in contexts where someone wants to provide a summary or an overview. For example, a teacher reviewing a lesson might say, let's hit the high points of today's topic. Or a friend recounting a trip might say, I'll just hit the high points of my adventure. To help you understand how to use hit the high points in conversation, here are a few examples. In meetings, we're short on time, so let's just hit the high points of the report. In academics, for your presentation, make sure you hit the high points of the research without getting bogged down in too much detail. In casual conversation, I saw the movie last night. Let me hit the high points for you, so I don't spoil the whole plot. To master the use of hit the high points, try incorporating it into your daily English practice. Here are a few tips. Write your own sentences. Craft sentences using hit the high points based on your own experiences or plans. Conversation practice with a partner Practice summarizing stories or articles by hitting the high points. Listening for it, pay attention to English media, TV shows, podcasts, movies, and note when and how the phrase is used. We hope this video has helped you understand the meaning and usage of the phrase, hit the high points. Remember, Learning phrases like this one is a great way to sound more natural and fluent in English. Keep practicing, and don't be afraid to try using the phrase in your own conversations. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.